G'day Starlo here. Fishing in the rain, what do you think about that? I actually don't mind a bit of light rain like this. I'd actually prefer rain to wind, especially when I'm fly fishing, which is what I'm doing today. I'm chasing some southern black brim on fly. Now I caught some fish in this system recently using jointed swim bait lures quite large ones the fish were really aggressive on them so i thought well why not apply that same principle to fly and i'm going to try a game changer these are a beautiful fly jointed segmented fly this one's a, a beast brushes game changer i've had a crack at tying these myself they're hard work. <laughs> it takes a long time to tie one and mine don't end up as beautiful as that. So I uh, think I'll have to stick to buying them for the near future. They're not a cheap fly as you can imagine. There's a lot of work goes into them, but they come to life in the water and I'm hoping they might uh, work on the brim. I'm a little worried about the hookup rate though, because unlike that hard bodied swim bait that I was using the other day, this one doesn't have a treble hook back near the tail end of it. It's just got the one hook up the front, so I don't know how that's gonna go on brim, but the only way to find out is to have a crack. Ah, it's nice and peaceful out here. Let's hope the brim like these conditions. I like the overcast. It's actually quite dark here. It's um, about 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, and yet it's still quite low light levels. And that light rain I talked about is getting heavier by the minute. Still we're here now, so there's no point turning back. In fact, Jo is out somewhere ahead of me in her kayak, and I'll bet she's already fishing. I better catch up. I'm keen to see how this game changer fly performs. There's Jo, and as I guessed, she's already into it. My turn now. Ooh, that's a good cast. That deserves a fish. I let the fly slowly sink for a second or two in front of the snags, then retrieve it out using short, sharp strips with pauses in between. This really brings the game changer to life. I'm expecting a hit at any moment. I only retrieve about halfway back to the kayak, then lift off for another cast. The brim are most likely to be close to the edges. That's on the money as well. Joe's not far away, but she's throwing a much smaller and more subtle fly than mine. It'll be interesting to see which one works. I'm getting them into the right spot. But it's Joe who draws first blood. Come on! Really subtle take. I just responded to the tick in the line. Yeah, right. What fly? Um, I changed it to a bright coloured one of the... Um, of yep. Oh yeah, I know the one. It's giving her a bit too on her six weight. Yeah. Oh, nice fish. Line as well. It's not in yet. There we go. Oh, it is much better than I thought. Lovely fish, and time for a couple of quick picks. Then it's fly out and back in the water. It pays to just hold them upright until they're ready to go. Lovely. The rain eased right off after that and I was back into it, peppering the reed lined edges and weed beds with my fly. But try as we might, we just couldn't draw another strike and eventually decided to pull stumps and head for the car. So the jury's still out on how well the game changer will perform on brim, but I remain reasonably confident. Meanwhile, we certainly know that those little Burmy fly fur babies work. And as for me, well, I guess there's always next time. Until then, tight lines.